Well, so there's the 67 Camaro. It's a great car, I love it. And, uh, but yesterday I was going to the uh, bicycle shop to get some inner tubes and tires because those are junk. And so I was putting my Schwinn back together so I could ride around a little bit. But I was driving over there. I was going down, it's about eight miles away. It's no big deal. I like to put some miles on the car, continuing to break in the motor. And as I was approaching the bike shop, I was in the wrong lane and I was gonna take a right-hand turn and I realized it was the wrong turn. So I was in second gear and then, but there's a lane of traffic here. So I was merging back into lane in second, giving it some gas, nothing crazy, just to get enough speed from 20 to 45 to get in the lane of traffic. And I gave it some gas, maybe 3000 RPMs that didn't really pay attention. And all of a sudden, boom, something in the engine gave way. I have no idea what it was, but it caused my engine to stop. Uh, so I coasted over to the side and waited for a tow truck. Now I tried to start it back up thinking, what the heck was that? But it did not want to start and it did not sound good at first. I thought it was the transmission because I know it's old. It's an M20 built in 64. It's probably been worked over a few times and I know it's sloppy down there. I can, you know, the gears are old and tired, but I had hoped it was that, but no chance. There's no oil dripping from the bottom. So now the good, and again, the, the, I, it's a brand new motor. Check it out. Okay. There it is. Now, that was professionally built by some boys over here. They have a machine shop. It's all they build is 383. So, you know, the great thing, here comes the good stuff. It's under warranty. So I'm really good about that. I'm really comfortable about that. I'm sure these guys will take care of it. No questions. So I got to find out what's wrong. I'm going to give them a call tomorrow and find out what to do. Uh, I'll probably have to take it out and take it to them. That's no big deal. I don't mind doing that. It's not what I wanted to do, but I don't mind doing it. So that's what's going on with the 67 Camaro. I'm really upset about it, but I think there's a solution here and we'll find the solution, get it repaired.